Welcome. Well, if you're new to the channel, my name's Andy. In uh, May of this year, I split with my ex and uh, looking for somewhere to live, I found an abandoned sailboat. I bought this for 400 euros. And when I found her, the engine was in bits and the sailboats were floating. I gave myself six weeks to get her back up and running. And since then, I've been living on board and gradually bringing this boat back to life. So if you like what we're doing, hit the subscribe button and join me on the journey. Well, lots of jobs to do today. We've come on to the quayside. This is Sail Ionian and it's a public quayside. Um, Sail Ionian use it during the season and uh, they control it basically. So uh, yeah, I'm here for a couple of days. Loads of jobs to do. So uh, the dinghy, I don't know whether you can see this, but there's a little leak here. So I've got to fix that. I'm just prepping that ready. My um, guard rails here, this one, it was only screwed in and it had pulled out. So I'm going to now do it properly. I'm going to fill these holes with Sikaflex and these um, bolts will go in there. And then that'll sort that out. Little bump in the tow rail there I've got to sort. And then all this chain and this anchor is going because I've got a rocklet anchor and I've got 80 meters of brand new galvanized 8 millimeter chain to go on. And then we're going to do some conversion of that bow locker so I can get a windlass on it because I'm fed up of handballing. And as you can see, or hopefully you can see uh, here where the chain has been chafing on the um, furling line. So I've got to replace the furling line as well, but there's no point until I've got the electric windlass in place. So those are all jobs that I've got to do. Um, and then at the back here, um, I've got to finish off basically sanding and filling these repairs and get that painted my um, sander bust it was either full on or full off so i just bought a new sander so uh, get that sorted while i'm here so lots lots to do i've just bought all of this chain what i need to do now is alter the chain locker so that i can put a windlass on it so first things first cut out a hole which is what i've started to do now once I've cut that out, then we can think about fiberglassing. So, yeah, uh, and then I will cut the lid when I'm finished. So, uh, I haven't been filming a lot because I've had to have the engine running to run the um, inverter to be able to run power tools. But I've engaged this famous carpentry firm of Bodget and Leggett to cut this out and um, fit a, a piece here, uh, which is going to act effectively as the edge of this. So I've got to just grind back a little bit here and the same on this side and then I'm ready to um, glue this in with thickened epoxy and once I've done that I'll fiberglass it and then we can uh, work on the rest. I think I'm going to probably just cut this off a little bit further up so that it's a straight edge all the way along. Um, but um, it works and then I've got to put the, uh, the piece in that goes into the bow so before I start boxing all this in I think what I'll do is I'll make a template for that and get that cut out 
so that it could uh, sit in there as well and then hopefully the whole lot will be ready to do. Well what do you think beggar? Eh? What do you think? It's all loosely fitted at the moment isn't it? Somebody wants his dinner. But actually it's quite a nice size for a chain locker. I'm quite happy with that. Once I've got it all bonded in, it should be nice and strong and waterproof. So we're going to go with this, I think. Uh, yeah, it doesn't look bad. So then uh, all it needs is a, uh, a drain hole at the bottom, which I can sort out shortly. Cool. Right, let's get going. It's quarter to four, the sun's already gone over the mountain so I'm going to get tidied up first before I start doing anything else because the boat is an absolute tip and we'll work through. And somebody is mithering to get fed because it's quarter past five where he is from, you know. Okay, it's the third day doing this now and I'm uh, full of cold so what I've got to do is I've got to clean up that area there so that I can actually um, put some thickened epoxy in to fasten this in. Uh, not looking forward to that because it's covering the boat in bung glitter but uh, it needs doing. So I'm going to get the engine started so I'm on the inverter and then uh, hoover and uh, I think the angle grinder or, or a, a drill with a uh, wire brush. I think the angle grinder for the groove where the uh, where this is going to sit and then a wire brush for the rest. So we'll see. to five and um, yeah this is not looking too bad there's only one layer of fiberglass on at the moment and there's quite a significant uh, pocket of thick and epoxy at the bottom which is good I'm going to fill that a bit more actually to bring it up because uh, I want to make sure I'm well above the water line before I drill any drain holes obviously um, this needs building up now with uh, multiple layers, both this side and the other side. So what I'm going to do is let this dry and then I can use the inside as the template to make some uh, triangles of fiberglass. So I'm putting single sheets in there uh, with uh, oh, just bending around the, around the edges as well. So that's the, uh, that's the idea. Um, and then once I've done that, it'll all get sanded down and uh, gel coated so that it looks uh, looks good. But it's getting it's getting there actually. I'm uh, I'm quietly pleased with what I've done so far. Yes, it's still work in progress. Yes, it still looks a bit like a bit of a mess, but um, yeah, it's not bad, not bad. And then uh, obviously at some point I've got to cut this. But I'm going to leave that until I'm ready with the rest of it. So, yeah, cool. Not looking too bad. So this is what it's looking like from the inside, and uh, yeah, again, there's only like one or two layers of fiberglass on there, tapping it in. But we'll get that sorted, and then I've got to basically finish off uh, fiberglassing around the wood filling in the edges with thickened epoxy so that it's not going to go anywhere so there's still quite a bit of work to do but overall i'm quite pleased with what was done so far well it's dry fitted but it's not looking too bad i don't think so not worried about this cut at the front yet i'm going to straighten that out that's not fun half. I'm going to put a, uh, a bead across where the cut is to straighten it up and make it look a bit more presentable. 
and also stop all the rain getting into it through there, although it doesn't really matter. Uh, yeah, quite pleased with that so far. So, next job, I've got to take this off again um, so I can paint the steel plate that's behind it and stop it from rusting. I need to get some nylock nuts and uh, the right thread. So, it's not going to come off. So, we'll see. So you can see what I've done. I've got this uh, big piece of steel that I found dumped in one of the uh, the, the bins. So and uh, so I've got to clean that up basically and, uh, and paint it, and it's not going to rust. But uh, everything else is not looking too bad. So yeah. Take this nut off and go and get nylocks. Uh, and then that's that sorted. And then once I've done that, uh, I'll get some uh, primer. And we'll start. Okay. Cool. Well, that's the first of the anti-slip paint on as well. That actually looks quite nice, doesn't it? I've got to say. So the uh, windlass obviously goes on there. Uh, I've put two coats of uh, primer on the steel. So I've got to turn it over and put one more coat on the other side ready for tomorrow. Uh, and then we can paint that. I'm going to paint that white using that white um, enamel paint that we got for the um, anchor, for marking the anchor. Somebody he sat waiting for his eighth, is it your eighth pouch of food today, beggar, by any chance? But he's forgotten all the rest, so he thinks he's starving. I'm being very cruel to him. Um, my new solar panels have turned up as well, so um, I need to fasten these down, but I think that they will fit just there. Um, which is uh, not a bad place for them, really. Um, and if uh, I get those fastened down, then uh, we can get them charging, because the, those cheap Chinese ones that I had before were about as much use as a chocolate teapot. So hopefully these will do the job. There's 400 watts there in total. Um, so that'll be good. Um, with this at the front here, I've got a little 30 watt panel and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it just here and then that is, is what I'm going to use for keeping the battery charged for the windlass, I think. Um, so yeah, we'll see how that goes. But, um, I need to write a good clean up in there and it's ready for gel coat and uh, that'll be that done. Um, I'm trying to do one project at a time, so as you can see at the moment, the boat is an absolute tip. But, um, yeah, I think what I'm going to have to do is fasten this one in as well. So I've got some 5200, um, and what I'll do is I'll use that to just glue this in place, and then... Um, Worst case scenario, I can use a razor blade to get it out if I need to. But I think it's going to need to be at least glued in place so that it's not going to come loose when, when you're using it. That's the last coat of gel coat gone on, so uh, that's now ready. I can drop the anchor, the anchor windlass in there now. Uh, starting to paint the anti-grip, just on a little bit there. Just on this one, which lifts the whole boat, which is great. Just prepping this one, but I'm just waiting for the dew to get off the boat. 
So it's currently nine o'clock in the morning. So I'm going to go and grab a coffee, wake up, and then um, we can carry on. So I've moved the hinge further down for the uh, chain lock lid. And, uh, so my next job is to fit the windlass. So that's going to be cleaning up this area here and then I'm going to bed it in again with 5200 um, so that it isn't going to go anywhere and uh, yeah so, uh, I'll move onwards and upwards okay. so it's all glued down now 5200 all the way around and uh, the chain is in and mounted so I'm going to fasten the hinges now to here and once I've done that I can lift this up we need to sand this it's got a bit uh, scorpy so um, but that's not looking too shabby now I think quite like that so keep going let that go off a little bit before I start playing with wires inside because the gel cut's still uh, setting inside as well well it's in and it's working Mistake number one, these should be over here, with a pen and neck where they are. So I've got to move them, but that's okay. Uh, mistake number two, the 5200 isn't holding on the winch. So what I'm going to have to do is get a stainless steel plate that runs from here right the way across to there bolt it in and then that should then brace it quite nicely so uh, yeah. yeah but it's working and there's 50 meters of chain in the locker and there's another 30 meters in here so yeah 50 meters for day-to-day -day use another 30 meters for emergencies that's not bad, that'll do, so as I say, plate across there, a bit more uh, 5200 in there just to finish it off. These are looking nice, that's not too bad, I've got to sort this hatch out, because the, uh, one, of the, one of the handles has gone, and then I've got to start cleaning all this shit on this side, and I'll paint down this side first. Once I've done that, we can uh, paint down this side, the other side. But it needs a couple of days just for the paint to go off before you stand on it. So, and uh, my lad over here, uh, well, I'm going to get some grey paw prints if I'm not careful. So, while I'm not using it, I thought I would do the stern as well. So, if we look at this, the stern, whoa, there we go. So I've just done that little bit there and that little bit there. Got to finish off the gel coat and paint that. But overall, we're making progress, I think. So, and the solar panels are working a treat, so I'm really pleased with those. We're getting a decent charge now. So, so we'll come to the end of this week's video. Next week, the weather's going to get bad. So uh, I'm in a race to fit my diesel heater and get the uh, galley working. I haven't had a working stove since I got the boat in June. So it'll be great to actually be able to make a cup of tea for a change. If you like what we're doing and you haven't subscribed already, click on the subscribe button on the right hand side and the notify so you get notified of new videos and if you want to watch some more straight away well the buttons on the left will get you there